Hey guys, this is Amy with Stick With The Plan. Today we are talking about laughter, how it's the best medicine. Stay right here. So glad you're with me today. Now I've heard a day without laughter is a wasted day. <laughs> I think that's true. I love to laugh. It lightens your mood. It releases endorphins in your brain. It makes your body feel better. It even helps your um, immune system resist sickness and disease every time you start laughing. So I'm quick to laugh. I'm always looking for the funny <laughs> in the situation. We recently got to go to a comedy show. It was John Christ and uh, my husband as a present had gotten me tickets and we were on the front row and we got to go backstage to meet him. And oh, you're in my story. Oh, yes, you hey, are. <laughs> pay attention here. What's your name? Amy. Hey, listen, you better watch all of Amy's Instagrams tonight. She has very Stick important updates. Plan. If you skip through it, uh, check your heart. Yes. <laughs> he was so kind. You know, I didn't know if he was going to make fun of us or what was going to happen. <laughs> it was so nice. But, you know, during the show, he looked down at my husband and said, hey, shorts. He called him shorts because he had on a pair of shorts. He said, what do you do for a living? So Jake says, oh, I'm a pastor. And he just laughed. <laughs> you know, and, you know, he went on with the show. And then in the middle of the show, Jay had to get up to use the restroom. He said, oh, Amy, I've waited as long as I can. I got to go. So you're in the front row. It makes a big deal we were in a, a smaller arena when uh, you leave. And so John Chris saw him and he just stared him down all the way the aisle. And he looked at me, he said, ah, that guy's a pastor? <laughs> I said, yes. <laughs> he said, how do we like if someone does that in his sermon? So we're all laughing, you know, and I got a message later from John Chris because I had posted a picture and tagged his name in it. So he wrote us back and said, thanks for being a great sport. He said, tell your husband, thank you. And I said, are you kidding? You making fun of us made our night. <laughs> We're just laughing. But I was thinking about other people who didn't have a sense of humor. You know, I saw other people on the front row that they weren't they weren't laughing when he was poking fun at them. But you know, this is a great opportunity to laugh. You know, you need to laugh at yourself. Don't take yourself so seriously. Don't worry about your mistakes. You know, I think we went to that show and my children were there and it kind of just stirred up laughter in us. And what a valuable thing it is in our lives that we should look for chances to laugh. How soon can we laugh in this situation? My daughter Summer was so uh, inspired by that comedy show that when we got back and it was near Mother's Day, you know, and she planned out, she had three jokes she wanted to tell. She had her own stand-up routine ready for Mother's Day for church. <laughs> so we let her, we gave her the mic. Have y'all heard about the three-legged dog? One day he walked into the saloon asking, hey, I'm going to go to the guy that shot my paw. <laughs> <laughs> And everybody laughed. That's good for everybody. Laughter is the best medicine. That's what Proverbs 17 and 22 tells us, that a merry heart does good like a medicine. Oh, and a, and a hard, dry spirit, it'll dry up the bones. You know, we can't have a, a harsh spirit or, or one that, um, you know, is never content or never happy. But laughter, man, God made you to laugh so you could get the right things going on in your body. I, I read something about laughter where it doesn't allow negative thoughts to even stay in your brain. The wrong things we were thinking of, laughter stirs up those good chemicals and it really sw switches your thinking and your thoughts over to positivity. Mm, I love that. Right? If you're thinking good thoughts, then good things are going to happen. So how soon can we laugh at this, what we're going through? You know, let's, let's try to be lighthearted about it. The other day I had to take this medicine for sure. I was speaking at a luncheon and I thought I was doing great. I was reciting Hebrews 12 about how, you know, we have surrounded by a great crowd of witnesses and you know to lay aside those things that would easily try to ensnare you and weigh you down in your race but we're looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith and I'm just preaching you know and when I get done another minister was there and they walked up to me and said um Amy uh, you you said that that was in Romans and I said oh no 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 that, that's Hebrews 12 and she said no you quoted it Romans 12 the whole time <laughs> and I was like oh I had a decision do I laugh or do I cry well I chose to laugh you you know, and it was a luncheon, so I stopped the whole thing and said, Hey, everybody, if you were looking for that verse in Romans, you won't find it. <laughs> That's in Hebrews. And so I had to laugh at myself, you know, and it helped me get over it. And, and we all got to bond. Laughter is a really bonding thing between friends, between even strangers. If you can find some common ground to laugh about, now you have this, now this bond where you relate to each other. Now you're even closer than you were before. And that all came about through laughter. I've heard that joy is a serious business of heaven. You know, I read in, in the Bible and Psalms where it says that God sits in the heavens and he laughs. 
that God made you to laugh. So don't be stressed out today. Look around, see, say, Amy, this is, this is a hard situation that I'm in right now. Well, let's find something funny about it. Let's just go ahead and say the devil's a liar. What he has plans for, he's not going to come about. My dad would have this sign in his office when I was little, and it said, the devil said what? And all these little Ziggy men, all these little cartoon guys, they were slapping their thighs and they were laughing. Come on, what lie is the devil trying to tell you today? Just laugh at it. Stir up all those good things on the inside of you. Know that God is for you, and that's how you'll stick with the plans he has for you. Thanks for being with me today. I love hearing all that God is doing in your life. Every time you share this, you're getting this out to new people. It's such an encouragement to us. If you're on Facebook, like this page. Go ahead, leave us a comment. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Share it with somebody new, because next week we're going to bring you a brand new video. I'll see you then. Thank you.